Hey, good morning, all you beautiful people. I just wanted to make sure I was doing okay and have everything running properly. Hi, how you doing? I'm your party artist. My name's Kim Overholt. I am here at my studio, Overholt Art and Entertainment Studio, as many days as I do show up live here. And if you want to know a little bit more about me, of course, check out my website with my fancy graphics, kimoverholt.com. And if it's backwards your way, it'll be straightened out on the regular. When you go back to normal, it'll be normal too. So how you doing? I know I'm not normal, but I'm trying. <laughs> we try every day to try a little bit normality in uh, in life. And I'm a little early today because I thought, hey, I'll get dressed to get started because you get to get started on the day, right? So we got to make it good, got to make it wonderful, and we got to make it count today because today is Magical Tuesday. And Magical Tuesday means anything to anybody but it means something special to me because Tuesdays are discuss and draw, discuss and draw. And we also get to have a little bit of fun with learning about what's going on in the world of me. <laughs> it's my channel. You might as well find out what the heck I'm up to, right? Right. All right. So how you doing? I guess uh, Monday was a little rough around the edges because I didn't sleep very well, but that's okay. I've been contemplating my next moves over the last, uh, oh gosh, couple weeks. Well, well week more like uh just to see what direction to head myself into now that I'm looking for a new employment so just getting the word out there too I am up up for commissions if anybody wants to get a painting done by me you can just contact me in the comments below or you can contact me by my website you know uh kimoverhold.com here and uh, yeah let me know if you're interested in a little bit of fun with me you got, I can do all kinds of wacky, wild things. I mean, as long as it is in the Niagara area and not that going too far out of my reach. I know this is a World Wide Web, and if you wanted me to come to Costa Rica, I might have the chance to, but I don't think I'll be able to just because of uh, uh, the way the mandates still are right now with everybody getting the, you know, and me, not, I'm, I'm just, I'm I'm pure blood. Yeah, I didn't get those. Yeah, I, I had caught covid before they mentioned that it was actually something bad out there. So I caught, I used to, uh, because I work right now in uh, in a store that accommodates a lot of students, a lot of Brock students. So there's a lot of uh, students, university students coming to the area and in my store. So I believe I probably picked up whatever was going around and already had caught it. And my doctor gave me medicine and made me better. I got better. And uh, then my birthday happened and then all things went to crap after March and everything like that. So, yeah, uh, lost a lot of stuff along the way. Like uh, I had just started my business before the whole thing happened. So once I was just raring to get going, uh, nobody was getting together or everybody. Like even when I, we started back up again uh, last year when I was up at the Penn Center doing March break, uh, kids were still wearing masks and I was hoping we would get to the point where we don't have to worry about that kind of thing. Wear masks if you want to, don't if you don't want to, that kind of thing. But yeah, yeah, it kind of turned that way. So now, now it's like, uh, I'm just, like I say, I, 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 I've caught it. I got over it. And during those, like when I was doing that, I'm, uh, I am unvaccinated. Yes, I'm unvaccinated. And it's not because I'm scared of getting my shots because I had had almost and all those you, all you guys who know, have had who are older than nineteen seventy something, have all got this shot right here. And I have also had shots when I was a kid. I did, I got them. But uh, when this one came out, I was a little skeptical, and I just kind of went, you know, what I'm going to just kind of see how things go. I, I, when it said something about RNA, and I knew immediately that had to do with blood, even though they said it has nothing to do with your blood. I think it has a lot to do with your blood. And I'm a rare blood type. So I'm AB positive, which means that I am a receiver. I can receive all different kinds of blood, but I can only uh, give AB to another AB. So it's kind of like that. But I worry that, you know, my blood type being very rare if I ever have something bad happen to me I'm worried that you know if if I should have to go into the hospital you know it's going to kind of get scary for the likes of somebody that's got no uh spike protein enzymes in my uh uh RNA and stuff anyways neither here nor there 
we are now able to get out and, and explore life now. And I'm taking commissions for paintings and drawings and all kinds of things that I do. And I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I've been working on the last little while because it has been a <clears throat> the Lord of the Rings thing. It was uh, recently one of those days where it was uh, Tolkien's birthday or something. I can't remember. But I wanted to show you the, the recent that I've been working on this. I don't know if you've ever had a glance into my book. It's almost done. I've only got a few pages left to do, as you can see, and I'll be finished soon. But I have, I wanted to show you, this is a mind magic book, and it's full of the wizards and all the people from the movie. And uh, I decided that would make for my own book, along with some things that the uh, original author has made and I made. That was the original, that's me. That's the original, that's me. That's the original, that's me. That's the original there, that's me. That's the guy who played that one, yeah. And uh, yeah, um, my latest one was of the Tree of Gondor, of course. And... Uh, the Dead in King. And of course, the black ships. The black ships was like the last one that I was working on where the guys are <clears throat> they're standing by the side. They're telling them, don't come here because if you do, you're going to get attacked by this big guy right here. So they're like, oh, who's going to stop us? Oh, who, 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 you and whose army? <laughs> well, there you go. Pretty scary. And this is like somebody out of the actual books. And uh, there's like a, I'm going to be making somebody, maybe Angela Lansbury over here. I don't know. Somebody to be the the person for here. And, uh, oh, I'm still working on that. You can see the pencil of that one. Da, 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 da. There's this one long scene here of uh, uh, an army going past. And I might make a little saying up in the corner or something. Uh, and one of the last pages is one of Saruman. I think I might do like the towers or something scary over here, make it kind of neat. So yeah. Oh, and oh, and the crown. I just did the crown recently too. The the white crown. That's the one that the author's version is, and that's my version of the one from the movie. All right. Trying to make it like this. One. I'll show you what I mean. See how they like that. Okay, hold on a second. I have another page where oh. Where it's the twin brothers, uh, the author's on the side, and I did mine on this side to kind of look like the brother, right? Um, there's the sword, the different swords. Let me show you. That's the sword that the uh, person who did the book made, and this is the sword from the movie that I reproduced for, for the book. <laughs> so I, I like to do stuff like this. It's really a lot of fun. Uh, I've got the uh, got the orcs in there too, and tree beard. Uh, yeah, and so I'm almost done that. That's almost one of my favorite things to do. I love to draw, and I've always been a real fan of like fantasy and things like that. So I'm a fantasy fan, as I can show you in my book here. I have um, I do quick little drawings and stuff like that. Kind of looks like the girl from uh, what you call it. Oh, yeah, you know, <laughs> that dog. <laughs> the heist. Look familiar? Uh, Frenchy, Mr. Frenchy there. Booger! <laughs> Gotta color it in, I'll make it green. My sugar snacks, my favorite, my favorite, favorite thing to eat. <laughs> sugar snacks. Oh, oh, no, uh, the joy of camping. Oh, 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 let me see. Oh, back on the farm. Young Brad Pitt. Older Brad Pitt. Older Brad Pitt. <laughs> One of Brad Pitt's kids. He's all going up now. He's like 20 something now. Uh, what? Oh yeah, Quentin Tarantino was his birthday just recently. Look at that. 
excuse me. Uh, so I was this is my Tom Petty idea that I came up with. If you want to see what the original, what the painting turned out to be, please look at it on my Instagram because I have pictures of it there. I don't have any. I don't. I'll be having more pictures coming up. I have a few days thing lately. And I've been working on. How's it look on this side? Yeah, I gotta fix his eye right over here. It's gotta be fixed a little bit. But it's coming. I get they got this part right. I gotta just fix that right around here. There you go. Wolverine! I love the Wolverine. He was so cool. Anyways, I'll be fixing that part up and make it look more like a like his eyes are looks like his eyes are crossed or kind of look weird. Anyways, <laughs> neither here nor there. I love that I get these little little, little drawing books and stuff and I can create and create and create. It's one of the things I've always been is creative. So I'm always trying something new. So I've applied for one job that I've applied for is if you ever heard of Ripley's Believe It or Not, it's one of those things I've always loved. It's kind of macabre myself. And uh, uh, there was somebody that's looking for uh, somebody to do hair and makeup for the wax figures. And I've taken uh, from Amway, uh, I did their artistry course, you know, with the colors and learning the makeup and blah, 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 blah. So I can do that stuff. And although today I am a mess, I do apologize. You know, I could make myself a look really completely. And maybe I'll, maybe I will make this channel a little bit more, but I like being real. I like being like one-on-one -on -one and, and, and showing myself as I am. Usually <laughs> this is how I see me. Most of the time I try to look my best, but this is how I usually see myself, like the big kid that I am. Yeah, Michael Jackson. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm working on a few things. i uh, got ideas, like I say, working from the book. I do drawings. I am looking for commissions. I am looking for anybody who wants to, to uh, collaborate on maybe a good idea for um, a story or even for getting more elaborate with uh, some kind of art display program show, blah, blah, blah. I'm even thinking maybe getting into a little bit of acting it would be kind of an interesting to do thing to do, right? To be or not to be, that is the question. But it is notable, nobler in the mind to, how's it going again? I can't remember. <laughs> Slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, blah, 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 blah. I've never, I've never known outrageous fortune, so I can't really say. <laughs> well, maybe one day I might be able to, and then say, "Hey, you know what? Outrageous fortune is like completely outrageous, outrageous. I don't want to stand it myself, but whatever." <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So I've been uh, got that that I'm working on, and uh, it's Magic Tuesday, so I was going to show you a quick little trick like this, but <sighs> nothing here. Nothing here, nothing here. Grab me one of these also. There it is. Ta-da! <laughs> I know, magic! There we go. A little bit of a, what's that over here? Oh, wait a minute, I did the wrong. Hold on. <laughs> it is over there. Hold on. Oh, yeah, there you go. So... You know, I have somebody who always gives me like a tuning and they do the whole thing. You go, oh, wait a minute. It's not there. It's there. It's behind your ear. Hey, and they go, there it is. There is the corner. <laughs> yeah. That's the magic, my magic for today. And, oh, of course, this one is uh, always my favorite. And I always tell the kids, you know, you do this one, you get a lot of tricks out of this one. Um, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. Well, oh, hold on. I need a drink. All right, you need a drink. Hey, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. You put your hands together like this, like you're the champion of the world. And have you ever laughed so hard that you? Magic, magic, and I, I do this in front of cats. And they look at me weird and I do it in front of a dog and the dog wants to sniff it like it's somebody farting. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Who has more fun than me? I don't know. 
but I love people. I love things. I love to draw and I love life. And, and, uh, you know, it's what you make it. Life's what you make it. That's my motto. And I've always had fun with it. You always got to make sure that you don't take it too seriously because God knows when you start taking it too seriously, that's when things start to kind of fall apart. You got to kind of just let go, let it have its own little thing. Let it flow. Flow is always good. And I don't know flow personally, but I'm sure she's a nice person too. I'm sure. Anyhow, yeah. So with Magical Tuesdays, I like to talk a little bit about magic too. I uh, I really enjoy it. Like I say, if I get into the Ridley, um, or sorry, Ripley's Believe It or Not Wax Museum and be able to do some decorations on some cool uh, mat, uh, wax figures, whatever. Who knows? Who knows where this could lead? I love things that are so like different and not the same. I, I love to have a job that's like, a little bit more up my alley, if you know what I mean. I've got a few um, pictures that I've been working on, like a few uh, comics and things like that. So there's always that. I could get more in that direction. But I'm looking to maybe join a company that has this already going on and I can just jump in and help them rather than create my own. But if I have to create my own, I got to create my own. I have so many ideas myself. And I'll be probably posting a lot of them now that, you know, I'm going to have a lot, a little bit more free time on my hands. I can do that for you, too. And give you some of the ideas that I had for doing some, um, some, some fantasy stories and maybe see if we can reproduce them, make them into uh, cartoon characters. <clears throat> and then maybe I'll make a, I'll grab something like, oh, oh where is it? Oh, oh, give me a second. I know I have it here. Blah, blah, blah. Let me go searching. Uh, maybe something like this. <clears throat> let me see, what's this one? Let me pull up. Oh, let me just pull up for fun. Put it into one of these thingies here. Oh, let me see. Magic of finding out what's in books. I, I don't even they have anymore. Da, da, da. Da, da. All kinds of ideas. Oh, for Paint Night Niagara. We're doing uh, different head throughs. Okay. This was one of my Paint Niagara days. Okay. Hello, hello. <clears throat> oh, yes. Yeah, so this has all kinds of ideas in it. So, but of course, you would probably have to. Uh, frosty, syrup and frosty. Uh, let's see. Got a little bit of a drawing there. See, I'm, oh, I've got tons and tons. Frosty by Private to Love. Right. I've had so many ideas. George Harrison, young George Harrison. Boom. And what's that? No, I don't do that. No, I don't want to do that. Do you want to lift some weights? No, I don't want to do that. I got a few blank pages here to fill with some stuff. So, yeah, you know. And then there's, oh, there's like big books like this one here, which belong to Colin Pollock. <laughs> Colin, I have your book. And uh, of Tech Design 10. You might want it back. No, I don't think so. I highly doubt you'd want this back. This belongs to somebody, but now it belongs to me, and I've got all kinds of stuff in here. But he's got some great ideas. I'm always searching for neat ideas to go through, designs and Things like that. And what do we have here? Comics, 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 comics. Oh, yeah, when I was doing a lot of facial features and playing with faces and things like that, trying to do. Oh, there's a picture of my baby. <laughs> a lot of people I know, caricatures. I was doing caricature art for a while. There we go. As you can see. And uh, people and friends I know. Let's see what else I have here. Oh, and I have more blank pages. Wow. There's always there's always room to put more into this book. But this is a huge book, too. So lots you see, there's always, always, always lots to do. <laughs> now getting published, that's a different story altogether. I do have a book, and it's called The Plight of Time. And if you ever want to read it, it's on Kindle right now and i'm thinking eventually of making it into a, a novel 
and uh, adding more to it. So that might be an, another thing I might be, I might end up becoming a journalist and making some stories. I got lots of stories, got a lot, I got a great imagination and lots of good ideas. Avatar, pff, I got better ideas than Avatar. Ask me, uh, you, you wanna know something different about uh, some of the other things you may have seen? I, I do like, I'm like a fan of different shows and I continue them after they're gone kind of thing like an example uh, Total Recall that's one of the ones that I, I made into a story where it ended up that Total Recall wasn't with Arnold Schwarzenegger but it was with the other lady that he was meeting along the way to had and uh, they kind of met up and you know how he said they meet in the dream and blah 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 well it's actually her dream wild and wacky stuff I know it, it's a really good good one but anyways <laughs> you know what i try to keep it short and sweet because i know tuesdays are one of those days where you know anything can go anything can happen and with that being said let me just give you a little bit of magic for today and we'll start it off a little bit like this and like this <laughs> Again, you have arrived. Kim is going to tell you your fortune. Oh, 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 oh. What? You be quiet. I'm trying to talk to you. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it gets a little loud sometimes. I guess I'm a little loud at times. Do you mind? Do you mind? <laughs> Of course you don't mind. All right, so I'm going. I'm going to pick up my play the cards for you. And we had a fun one the last time. It ended up being that I got the double card, and that's only because I I know uh, Jean and I we were talking about somebody specific, and it kept on coming up again and again. So <laughs> when you do that, that's what happens. And we ended up getting the double. Ooh, and we all know what that means. Yeah, yeah. There's some kind of troublemaker out there. There's a troublemaker out there, and you know who it is. I don't have to tell you. You know who it is. <laughs> I'm a troublemaker. <laughs> but let's see what the cards have in store for us today. And I'm going to give them a shuffle. And I shuffle usually until either A, something falls out. Or if I have somebody that's watching and says, stop shuffling those cards, I will deal whatever comes up on the next. It'd be like maybe one card will fall out, maybe two, maybe a batch. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All I got to do is start shuffling. Now, I used to blame it on the fact that it's, they were big cards and I have a hard time shuffling. But sometimes the cards just want to have things come out on their own. Like this one. <laughs> that pot is just wanted to come out. Justice. All right. So there we go. There's the card for the day. Let me give you a little bit of justice. Now, that's a major arcana card. That's number 11. It goes to 11. Justice. Let me distribute a little bit of justice your way and let's see what it says for justice today. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> justice. All right, so this is what it says for justice today. Can you see that? Okay. It says, now is the time for reason and to be a, being able to see another's viewpoint. It is time for balancing accounts on all physical, mental, and emotional levels. Yeah, did you hear about what's going on in the stock market and in and, and the economy? Yeah. Now's the time to get all your accounts together on a physical, mental, and emotional level and in financial and legal matters. Make preparations to reap what you have sown. Have faith that justice will triumph. And leave the punishment of those you think have wronged you in her wise and fair hands. Interesting. Or his, I don't know if it is, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. In their hands, in their hands. There you go. So if you have any dried sage, they say to burn a little bit of dried sage in a metal dish to clear the air of negativity, write down on a square white piece of paper the truth of the balanced outcome you desire. 
close your eyes and pray to the angel of justice to decide the best outcome for all parties saying, open our eyes to the truth shall rise. Open your eyes and burn the paper with some dried sage. Know in the end, justice always triumphs. So there you go. Justice. The body smooth takeover. <laughs> now let's see what it's kind of based on because I usually do that too. So strength. All right, so it's been based on our strength, people. There's strength in numbers, and justice is ours. So there we go. So keep a strong head on your shoulders. Make sure that you're paying attention because there's a lot of interesting things coming our way. We will reap what we have been sowing. So if you're not doing anything, you better start doing something because if you don't, if you don't do action, you'll have nothing to get back from what you've put out there. You know what I'm saying? I think I know. I think you know what I know, but you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll stop. I'll stop aggravating you, but it is true. Mm -hmm. And don't just take my word for it. Wait till the day progresses and see how it goes for you. And you tell me in the comments below, how was your day? Let me know how it goes for you today. And I'll let you know how it goes for me as well. It could be interesting. It could be a fascinating day if you want it to be. It's what you make it. And on that note, as my mama would say, peace out, brother, with a little bit added. I'm here. And I'm here to help you with any kind of artwork you might need. If you need me for any artwork, let me know. In the meantime, love you. I love you. <laughs>